Terraform modules, the new release of IBM Cloud Pack for integration, and an updated Cloud Functions dashboard. All on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. Jumping right into things today, IBM Cloud Schematics is excited to announce the general availability of reusable Terraform modules to rapidly build your IBM Cloud infrastructure. What are Terraform modules, you ask? They're logical groupings of Terraform configuration files that are developed based on common infrastructure code patterns, best practices, and reference architectures. There are a bunch of great benefits to using these Terraform modules on IBM Cloud. They accelerate the development of Terraform infrastructure code, they lower the skill barrier required to develop the code, and by using these modules, you're adopting up-to-date industry best practices and code patterns that are codified by our automation subject matter experts. We already have a bunch of IBM Terraform modules published to the Terraform registry, and more are being added, so click the link in the description of this video to get started. Next up, I want to shine a light on the latest release of the IBM Cloud Pack for integration. The new features of this release mean that there are now five major ways that Cloud Pack for integration's AI-powered automation improves your outcomes. First is natural language integration, which allows you to describe your desired integration flow simply by using natural language. Second is the transformation generator, which lets you define the format of source and target data and automatically generates the complex mapping transformation. Third is AI for API testing, which automatically observes the API traffic in a production environment, identifies where it lacks test coverage, and builds tests with no human input. Fourth is Mapping Assist, which automatically maps a source to a target using semantic understanding. And fifth is cloud-native high availability for IBM MQ. This automatically replicates message data between a set of MQ instances deployed into the cloud. To learn more about the exciting new features of this release, hit the link below. To finish things up this week, let's take a look at the all-new Activations dashboard for IBM Cloud Functions. Among the many improvements to the UI and the UX, the new dashboard restructures the filtering options, sorts the data in every graph in a chronological and synced up order, improves warning and error messages, adds a better line break to display logs in the preview accordion, and adds a fully functional dark mode. To start experimenting with the all new Activations dashboard for IBM Cloud Functions, check out the link I've got below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.